All living things need food. We eat when we are hungry. We need food to grow strong and healthy. It gives energy for work and to play. Good food makes bones and body strong. Our food comes from plants, animals, birds, fish and so on. Food that we get from plants is generally coming in the forms of vegetables, grains and fruits. Fruits. You know there are many fruits like apple, bananas, pineapple, jackfruit, plum, mangoes etc. And surely mango is the most famous and favorite among all of us. But do you know the tasty food items made from mango could last for a longer time. Even for a period of one year. Since we have another lesson from 5th standard EVS for you all mangoes round the year. We will study here how food is important and how it gets spoiled. We will also study the difference between the food spoilage and the food wastage. How can we preserve food for a longer time and what is recipe and a story of two brothers from Atreyapuram village in Andhra Pradesh preparing mango recipe. So let's start our new lesson mangoes round the ear. Food is very important for all of us. Every living being needs food for their growth, survival and energy. The food also gets spoiled and is known from its smell, taste or by its appearance. Let's see one interesting story about Nitu, Aman and Priti. Wow! Aman's lunchbox has sweet puris. Hey, today Nitu has brought potato sabzi, Aman says. I have got bhindi, Priti. In between, Aman smells something bad and he says, Oh, Nitu, I think your potato sabzi is spoiled. Suddenly, Priti interferes. Don't eat that. You may fall sick. Here, you take some bhindi. How did Aman know that the potato sabzi had got spoiled? Yes, it is by its smell. Because most of the time, we understand if the food has gone spoiled by its smell, taste or its appearance. Same way, have you ever seen some food has gone spoiled? Yes, surely in our home. Priti told Nitu not to eat potato sabzi. What would have happened if she had eaten it? Surely, she may had fallen sick. Then why is food get spoiled? We know when we keep food for a longer time or when it comes in a contact with air, heat and water, that time there are more chances of getting this food spoiled. Food spoil due to growth of microorganisms on it. Now what are microorganisms? Microorganisms are the organisms which are minute and micro. They are not seen with naked eyes. But we can see this organism under microscope device. There are different examples of microorganisms such as bacteria, fungus, algae and virus. You know, whenever we want to eat food and before eating food, we wash our hand so that whatever bacteria present on our hand will be killed. Also, there is a chance of growing fungus on a food or algae and virus. Fourth type of microorganism is virus and virus is known to you all because today, we are going through a pandemic situation called COVID-19 or coronavirus. And how virus is dangerous is known to the world. Even whenever we get cough, fever and other diseases, they are also born from virus. Now, let's work practically and do experiment. Take a bread. On day one, sprinkle some water on it. Just keep it packed in the tiffin box. 
Next day, in the morning, again you open and see, is there any change in the piece of bread? Surely, it will change its little color. Again, you sprinkle little water on it and keep it pack and observe it for the third day. Now, on third day, it will change its color totally. It may turn black, greenish and it will start giving some bad smell. Same time, keep it for the one more day and now on this day, you will find a drastic change in it. It smells so badly and may some fungus and some germs must have grown on it. So, this is the best example and a practical experiment to understand how microorganisms grow on food. Food spoilage is a common thing. In our house also, many times food gets spoiled. Now, just tell me, what do you do with the spoiled food? Right? Spoiled food, sometimes we throw it out, use as a fertilizer or give it to the animals. Food is very important for all of us. Now, let's find out what is the difference in food spoilage and food wastage. When food gone bad, we call it is spoil and it is not in a condition to eat. So this is a spoiled food. Now wastage is that the food is good but still we throw it out. But same time we can give it to the needy people and that can be utilized in a better way. We know hunger is the main problem in our country. We must know the importance of food and we, if possible, can give the extra food to the poor, needy people. We know that this food, we get it from the nature. And the farmers are the most important people who grow different type of crops. Sometimes this food is seasonal, like different fruits, vegetables, we get it in a particular season, while some food and its items could be stored and used throughout the year. Example, pickle, spices, dry fruits, dry fish, etc. Now let's do a small activity. Look in your kitchen and write down names of food items that 1. can get spoiled in 2 to 3 days, 2. can be kept for a week, and 3. the food items will not spoil till 1 month. So let's try answers for first the food items that can spoil in two to three days like milk cooked dal or rice rice also gets spoiled in a day also second can be kept for a week like onion potato cake etc and the food items will not spoil till one month like sugar salt oil and others so far we discuss that food spoilage is the main problem for everybody. So let's find out what are the methods and ways by which we can slow down the process of food spoilage and keep foods fresh. One method is we can keep food in refrigerator, in fridge so that it can remain fresh for a longer time. Second, salting and pickling. If we apply salt, salt act as a preservative and it keep the food fresh for a longer time. Next is drying. Most of the time we can keep food in the sun so that it absorbs the water from the food and it keeps the food dry. Example, fish, dry fruits which are dried in the sun. Also, you must have saw your mother keeping bottles and utensils in the sun. The reason is to remove water from it. Next is adding sugar and jaggery. This also acts as a preservative and save our food. Smoking method. Next is a canning. We can keep the food inside the can or bottles packed. So that is called canning method. And last, adding preservatives like salt, natural preservatives like salt, 
sugar jaggery etc to the food and also there are some preservatives which are chemical so these are the methods by which we can keep food fresh and that can be used for a longer time i am sure you must have gone for marketing or shopping but do you know we have right to refuse any food item whose expiry date has got over or lapsed yes let's see one small story of bg bg went to shop to buy a bread packet but after looking at the packet she decided not to purchase it can you guess why she must have written the packet yes correct bg must have seen its expiry date and must have refused same way a customer knows many things from the food packet such as its brand or what is the name of the company its price its weight date of manufacturing date of expiry and what are the ingredients or contents present in the product we find several food items in the shop like chips and other which are packed in a packets and bottles and they can remain for a longer time same way the pickle papad etc we can also prepare with a special recipe and that we can save and use for a long time we know there are different type of pickles like a pickle which is a very famous and which is made of unripe mangoes carrot chilies also fish and other items so that is the pickle which can remain for a long time here given below are some food items and some simple methods by which this could be kept fresh for 2 to 3 days match the correct pairs milk cook rice green coriander onion and garlic on one side and you have to match it with the other side if you see milk how we can save and preserve for 2 to 3 days by boiling it it need to boil second cook rice we can put it in a bowl and keep the bowl in the container with some water green coriander kothambir this can be wrapped in a damp cloth onion and garlic we can keep it in a dry open place so that it will remain for a longer time now let's see the story of two brothers chitta babu and chinna babu from atreyapuram town in andhra pradesh this both the boys in summer vacation were playing in mango garden they were eating unripe mangoes with salt and spice at the same time they learn some of the items to prepare from ripe mangoes let's see what are the food items that could be made out of unripe mango and ripe mango out of unripe mango we can make pickle aam panna mango chutney etc while with ripe mango we can make aam papad mango jam mango shake chitta babu and chinna babu were playing in mango garden throughout the day and it was quite difficult for their parents to control them since appa and amma decided to engage both the brothers and teach them recipe to prepare mamidi tandra mamidi tandra means aam papad in andhra pradesh aam papad is also called mamidi tandra for that matter they went to market they bought mat oven from palm leaves pole of casuarina nuts in local language we called it suru string made of coconut husk jaggery and sugar from the market later on amma found sunny place to dry this mamidi tandra in the backyard for this appa chose most ripe mangoes why ripe mangoes because ripe mangoes contain more juice and less fiber so he took pulp into large pot pulp is a fleshy part of the mango he removed fibers from the pulp by straining through a muslin cloth 
and added sugar and jaggery to it so that it can be made more tasty and same time it can be preserved for longer time because earlier we discussed that sugar and jaggery acts as preservative after this they made a high platform and spread mat and a mango pulp was put for drying for next 4 weeks both the brothers added layer after layer of mango pulp finally a jelly grew 4 cm thick and looked like golden cake the cake was cut into pieces and ate by both the brothers and full family so that's all about your lesson mangoes round the ear we studied about the importance of food how food gets spoiled what is microorganism what is the difference between food spoilage and food wastage how can we preserve food for a longer time what is the recipe and also studied a story of two brothers from atreyapuram village in andhra pradesh who learn how to prepare mamidi tandra or am papad so that's all about your lesson mangoes round the ear hope you have enjoyed this lesson do hit like and share this video to the maximum students and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much and stay tuned till the next class bye